All right, Brandon, these videos coming forward, they're a couple short videos, but they're videos that we do, do like to see a little bit of a different view, different angle from what we see, generally speaking, with the breast circle. So here we can see that your eyes are looking straight forward, right at us, okay? What we want to do is make sure that your eyes are a little bit on an angle, so your head kind of falls up, and then it also falls forward. So instead of looking forward quite so much, let your eyes kind of fall down a little bit. But one of the things you can see is you can see how much you tuck that chin down. What you want to do is let that head fall down with your shoulders. You want to make sure to keep your spine in line with everything. And so as your shoulders start to go forward and your hands start to go forward, that head should also start to fall forward. So don't force it down as much. as Just let it fall into your stroke. Great job here of getting underwater, man. That looks so good. Your good depth as far as that goes. That looks excellent. The other thing that I really like a lot, you can see that we're starting that pull right here and their head's a little bit above the water, but you started that pull right when your feet finished that kick, which is outstanding. One of the things that we see from swimmers with breaststroke is they kind of get a little bit too fast, right? And they don't ever let their kicks finish. You're doing a great job of finishing that kick, which really helps you have a much stronger breaststroke. Again, great job of breathing early. That looks so good. Really good job of finishing your breaststroke. And I'm not seeing your butterfly kick there that we are a little bit worried about. So I think that's good. I think, you know, it may be one of those things where if you're trying to go too fast, uh, it kind of falls in. And as you get a little bit stronger and a little bit more focused on what we're doing, all of a sudden that breaststroke kick has gone away. So we really like that. Uh, this is kind of a good view where you can see how wide your hands are as you're finishing that stroke. So here your legs are just starting to kick. You're just getting ready to push those hands forward. As those hands are fully extended, look at this separation of those hands. What we'd like to see you do is make sure you have your hands just slightly one on top of the other, so a little bit of an overlap as your legs are coming together. You can see that your legs are now finished right there. And right at the finish, look at how wide those hands are there. So now that's more of a Superman position. So work on just keeping those hands a little bit more streamlined, okay? Good job going in your wall. That was excellent. Now remember, you're looking over here. Ideally, we want you to watch that hand come right off that wall. You want to watch it slide right behind your head into a streamlined position, okay? So when you're elbowing your brother, calling your mother, the idea is to watch that hand. But again, that is so much quicker. Your feet are just now hitting the wall, and you're already, already off transitioning from one direction to the next, and that's perfect, okay? We want to make sure we have a good, quick transition, and your transition here looks so much better. Okay, Brandon, that is a good streamline. All right, now it's different when we see underwater, and I know that, but this streamline is what we want to see all the time. We like how your body line is here. You get your feet nice and nice and pointed, so excellent job there as well. Good dolphin kick, but remember, hold that dolphin kick for just a split second. There's no, there's no reason to rush into it, right? Good stream, three-second streamline, bam, good dolphin kick, boom, then a good pull-out, okay? So just work on keeping that keeping that streamline a little bit better with that dolphin kick for about two seconds. Good first stroke. You're coming up exactly where you need to be. So that looks excellent, Brandon. Your underwater pull-outs look really strong. You length them out a little bit better, you're going to be even better. Way to go.